I can't get any internet out here. So it's always quite refreshing reviewing a product that isn't aimed at gamers, and that's exactly what the Dell U2419 HC monitor is. It's not for gamers, so it's missing all the important things like fast refresh rate and response time, but it does still rock in its own way. Most notably is the addition of a USB Type-C port that can connect a laptop and this monitor. Now, I wasn't really aware before taking a look at this machine that USB Type-C could carry an image, but it can. The monitor comes supplied with the cable to use, and I used it with my MacBook Pro 2018, which I have right here, and it did work perfectly. It even charged my MacBook 2 thanks to the built-in 65 watt power delivery system. Now, of course, you do still have two DisplayPort inputs and a HDMI input if you're more traditional, and there's also four USB ports too, with two on the underside and two down the left-hand side if you're looking at the monitor. The Dell U2419HC monitor I have here sits at around 24 inches corner to corner and has again adopted Dell's Infinity Edge bezel, which measures at well under an inch. The rear arm and base plate are made from plastic, although the base plate feels weighted enough to keep the monitor static on your desk. The arm does have a hole in the middle for cable management to trail cables through it, and all buttons can be located on the underside of the bottom right hand side of the monitor. And navigating the menu is pretty easy, I never really struggled with that. Now I will point out that there is an MST option that allows you to data chain multiple monitors together. Now the monitor itself at the moment does raise up and down so you can raise it to the full extent or you can lower it right down to hit your desk as well. Now if you do raise it, you do have the option that you can also tilt it into a vertical mode as well. Um, but obviously you have to go into your Windows settings. I'm on a Mac, I don't really know how to use Macs very well, um, but you have to go into your Windows settings to then change it to a vertical looking display. But it does have that option there. And of course, when it is down on your desk as well, it does tilt forward and backwards as well. So you can really maneuver this monitor into the position that you want. And it also uh, pans left and right as well, which is a very nice feature, especially if you're using a couple of these on your desk, you can really minimize that gap in the middle of each monitor. So the panel uses IPS technology at a resolution of 1920 by 1080, which can produce some really wonderful colors and very large viewing angles, but it's lacking very much in the response time department, coming in at five milliseconds on its fast settings, which is what I used throughout my testing when I was playing games. Now it's not great for competitive gamers, but if you're looking for a monitor for video production, then by all means, this could be the one for you. There's also no free sync on the Dell uh, monitor either. Saying that though, I have played a few hours of Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War on my PS4, which aren't really the fastest games in the world, and it, they, they did look stunning. It supports up to 16.7 million 24-bit colors with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 and has a brightness of 250 CD M2. The screen itself is coated in a 3H hard coating which gives it an anti-glare layer, which I found works really well as the, sun, as the sun kind of shines through my window in the afternoon where my desk is in the home. Uh, and I can safely say that I, I could still see the monitor even though the sun was shining directly onto the screen. Now it's also capable of hitting around 99% of the sRGB spectrum and around 85% of the DCI-P3 spectrum too. Now as I said above, single player games like Horizon Zero Dawn were fine. And to be quite honest, jumping onto a few hours of Rage 2, even the Division 2 as well on this monitor was still an enjoyable experience. As well as gaming, getting through video editing tasks was decent as well. Colors were very accurate, which made color grading for my YouTube productions nice and vivid, and watching media playback, uh, like a series on Netflix, Amazon Prime, uh, or a movie on my PS4, really shone. Now, I wouldn't, however, say the monitor is completely accurate in the color department, so if you're involved in heavier color grading procedures, then there are more specialized monitors out there. YouTube, though, for me and what our videos look like, were, were absolutely fine. I can say, despite the downside for competitive gaming, this monitor performs exceptionally well. Now, it cost 254 on Dell's website at the time of making this video, uh, so it's not really a bad price, although if you wanted something more gaming orientated, then there are definitely options out there at around the £250 mark. So thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Dell UC2419HC. If you enjoyed the video, then do click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments below what you think about this monitor, whether you like it, whether you would go for something like this or you would go for something more gaming orientated. As I say, I really did like the monitor for, for what I used it for. As I say, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.